All right, excited. I finally got myself a welder. I can't believe it. I've been waiting for all my life to get one. No joke. I've always been fascinated about a welder. And as an artist, I should have got one a long time earlier. But here we are now. I'm in the Philippines. I picked a, this is a Philippine brand. I had to, I had to buy from what I had available here. It's called Powercraft. Um, the model is a PIW160i. DC inverter welding machine and um, I picked it because it's a no frills unit as you'll see it's a uh, real straightforward it has a feel and a look of quality but not quantity because most of what you see on the market is uh, feature loaded welders that promise everything and they come with freebies in the box and all types of extras and it's a big marketing campaign and I found that those are usually cheap, and you can feel that they're made cheaply when you actually go to uh, trial them. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, we got some good packaging. That always is reassuring to know. We got a T-shirt. This is awesome. Yeah, woohoo! I get to represent Powercraft. This is pretty cool. It's a Powercraft cross. Bam. The Trinity, the Holy Trinity, Powercraft. Putting this baby on, bang, bang, bada boom. All right, okay, I like that, I like that. That's sleek, that's professional. Here we go, so what else is in the box? You have a, a uh, rod holder, which has a feel of quality. So, and I know because I've tried others, and that feels good, and it looks good. It's a nice thick cable. It's uh, my measure. This this is eight feet long, and which is a good size too. Uh, that's also something that I com compared against other units. Eight feet is is a real good length. Um, as well as what else that comes in the box, the negative cable, and that's uh, five feet, which is also that's a, that's a good length for the negative. The negative will always be slightly shorter than the positive, which makes sense. Okay, so. That's it. There's no other extras in this box besides the main unit itself. And let's take a look at that. Okay. Here we are. Powercraft. One thing I really dig is this cool shoulder belt. I mean, that's cool right there. That's right. On. That's what I wanted. I wanted something compact. And it looks good with a shoulder strap. You know, it doesn't look ridiculous. If it was any bigger, it wouldn't look right. But that's still within, like, the, the Traveler motto right there i like that feels good all right let's take a look at the let's look at the model okay so it's actually nice and heavy which i like there were other units that were double the amperage of this that were lighter unbelievably and that kind of is a, is a telling comparison the weight means that there's more integral uh, parts that are inside this like motherboards and circuit boards and um, and capacitors and transistors etc etc redundant and and big heat sinks that dissipate the heat and larger components uh, it might be the same component but larger one thing I know for sure it's just a fan you know something so simple like that I looked at another unit that was 300 amps it had a smaller fan on it. How could that be? So you gotta kinda use common sense. And I went with a unit that cost more, but I get less features, nothing extra in the box. This is also a professionally re uh, you know, recommended uh, brand. Um, and it's just straightforward, one knob, not two. I was, you know, I asked Ryan, I said, why are, why are there two knobs in the other one? There's another, other, other units similar to this have two knobs, one is called um, arc power and then you have this one which is amps you only need one with the amps and with the the electronics inside should take care of the the arc power um, and that's pretty much it so uh, I'm pretty happy I'm excited to see how this goes I haven't actually used it myself yet I just opened it up but I want to just uh, share with viewers my um, my experience up to buying this unit so i'm excited to report i'll do a follow-up review after i use it cheers